Hello, my name is Ben and on this YouTube channel I document my own print on demand journey. Today I would like to talk to you about Etsy research and how I do Etsy research at the moment. Now I did a video on Etsy research a few um, days ago and this was on the tool which is called Sales Samurai which I started to use because I sell on Etsy, I want to increase my Etsy sales. And so far I haven't really um, had a good understanding of what sells on Etsy and it was a lot of trial and error. So Sales Samurai is a very new tool which um, they created just for the purpose of doing Etsy research. And it's from the same people who have created um, Book Bolt as well for KDP. And uh, yeah, I just started to use it. They offer a free trial by the way. And if you're interested in signing up, you can just try it for three days for free. If you want a discount, just check my um, description box. There is a discount code for you as well. But that said, um, I, 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 I've started to find out that it works better for me if I use their Chrome extension. So they do offer a Chrome extension, which basically does the same thing as you can do on their, um, yeah, the main dashboard here on their website. But it's a bit more, I think it's, well, not necessarily more user friendly, but more convenient because you can, this takes the research to the Etsy website. So what you need to do, um, yeah, you can use it for free, obviously for three days, and then you can decide if it works for you or not. But you know, what you can do, you download it and then you go uh, install it and you go to the Etsy website and then you can start um, searching for, um, yeah, basically the niche you might want to go into, for example. So you can do some broad knee search, um, for example, on their website, but then if you have identified a niche and that, you know, your niche idea could come from anywhere. It could come from um, just something that you like, or it could come from flying research. It could come from uh, wherever. So you can, you probably have an idea of sort of the niches you might want to go into. Um, and then you can type obviously your, your, your keywords in here just to get an understanding of what's going on. So I've put in gaming to gaming shirt here for now. And um, so the blue numbers here, they now come from the Chrome extension. So this shows the search volume, the monthly search volume for this keyword. And then you can see the um, number of keywords which are related or similar um, to this one. And then if you click on this, this is where it gets exciting or interesting because this shows you now um, the keywords here, very similar keywords, yeah, which are related. Um, and then you can see the search volume. So this is the monthly search volume. Ideally, obviously you want to aim for a high search volume for a certain keyword. Um, then you can see in the next column is the competition. So how many listings are there with these keywords? And ideally you want a low competition, but a high search volume combined. And then you can find the number of words here. So there are obviously long tail keywords, but also very short keywords with just one word. So this is important to know. Now, then on the top here, you can actually filter. You can, um, you can um, say you only want to have the keywords with a certain search volume in a certain range and also the competition only in a certain range. And also maybe you're just looking for only long tail keywords. And then you can, if you say, I want only to look at keywords with a minimum of four words, then you can, you can do that. Um, just check. And then it changes it all to at least four words, as you can see here. So it disregards everything with less than four words. But I'll take that out again because um, that doesn't so much matter for me at the moment. Um, but what actually matters is a high search volume and a low competition. So I could say I want to have a look at everything with at least a search volume of 200 searches per month and a competition with, you know, competition of maybe less than a thousand. I don't know. I'll have a look. And then you can get an idea of what is out there here, for example. So I think this already. Um, yeah, shows you that. And then you could have a look at what is the highest search volume actually. So you can have IQ game has a low competition, but also V is for video games. I've never heard that before. Sounds like nothing trademarked. So I would then normally have a look at it. So I can click on it to again understand is this actually a niche? And it shows, well, it actually is a niche. It seems to be related to Valentine's Day, but for people who don't like Valentine's Day, who rather like gaming, to be honest, I, I haven't 
seen this niche before. So this is quite interesting. It seems to sell well, so people seem to buy it. What I don't know now, it's obviously two weeks after Valentine's Day, if it is still selling, but it still might be worth creating one or two of these designs. You know, if you use Canva, it's, you know, it's something that can be done very, very quickly. Um, yeah, honestly, I haven't really, um, haven't really seen that before. And as you can see, there are a lot of searches still per month, according to the, um, to the tool and not so much competition, or at least not so much competition compared to the search volume. And you can see again, the search volume here. Um, and this still is, you know, because the, the Chrome extension is working. Now that is very interesting. And again, you can do that for, for all sorts of niches. So that is very, very interesting. So this is really everything I wanted to show you today. It's a very valuable Chrome extension. It works really well. Apparently I've just found another niche in this video, which is very interesting. Um, and you know, by following that process, you can find so many new niches or, you know, at least see what's selling very well on Etsy at the moment. And, um, I haven't seen that niche anywhere before. I haven't even seen that on um, Amazon or so. Maybe it's only on Etsy, but probably it's everywhere. I just haven't seen it. But as you can see, it's a good, um, it's a really good, um, yeah, Chrome extension that allows you to do a lot of things to really find products or niches that have a high search volume and a low competition on Etsy. And I haven't seen that in a similar way in another research tool for Etsy. So I think it's pretty, pretty good for Etsy and um, should be a good way to, you know, increase your sales or chances of selling on Etsy because every listing costs a bit of money on Etsy. So you want to make sure that your research is done right. So you get a good um, return on your investment. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, then please smash the like button. And if you want to follow me on my print on demand journey, then please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.